right, here's my creek, and there's some big maple trees, my son's hammock, some wild grape vines, another big maple, and they're kind of hard to see, but there's two hickories right there. They're wee little sapling size, and uh, they're, they're not going to live here. So I'm going to cut them out and, you know, make use, you know, a walking stick and uh, maybe some arrow four shafts from them. And then over here, we've got, uh, this is called privet. This is, a lot of people have this as hedges grow in our yard. It's got a nice straight piece. So we're going to cut that out to make uh, arrow four shafts too. All right, I cut the bigger hedge out of the way and you can see it has a real dark heartwood and it makes interesting um, looking little tools and stuff out of it for handles now here's a tree I really wanted about an inch in diameter pig nut hickory got some good branches on it they'll make a good four shafts almost the right size there's the other one standing dead it's probably useless but I'm going to cut it and see. Maybe it's not too bad. Now you can see, just removing that little bit of junk trees. Opened it up a lot and uh, makes it look a lot nicer. And I'm going to peel this hickory because the bark makes is good for making stuff from. It's like natural string. And, uh, you know, you just roll it up and... Save it, and whenever you need to use it, just drop it in some water. It'll get wet and get pliable again. And if you take your time, you can peel this bark right down with your fingers. and get nice, long strips, and it'll help the wood to dry faster. See how it's peeling off of there? That's the benefit of cutting it in the summer, I guess. As you can see, I got a nice, long strip, and uh, just peeling it down. Slowly working around the knot holes. There's the cat. But there we go. One bundle of uh, hickory bark rope twine. If you're in a survival situation, you get a small saplings. Sapling bark is easier to peel. It's thinner and, uh, you know, it'll dry pretty quick so it won't rot or anything like that. And then, uh, like I said, when you need it, you just put it in warm water. And it'll come right back to being soft. Now, here's one little fiber of it, and I'm going to try and show you how strong it is. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Here's my yield several bundles of potential cordage, weaving material, basket material, um, three nice. Uh, 5 16 limbs for uh, for four shafts two long hickory sticks now one could be a fishing pole the one on the left is kind of skinny and uh, could be a fishing pole and the one on the right this one is kind of kind of you know a little over an inch or so thick and it if it had to if you if you were in trouble you could dry this in a day over over your campfire um, you know and while you're drying it straighten it to shape um, put a string on there, make an arrow, and, you know, shoot frogs and squirrels and, you know, rabbits, stuff like that, and, uh, you know, survive. Uh, you know, obviously it's not going to be like an elk hunter or nothing like that, but you could make a survivable bow out of something like this in a very short time.